Everybody knows how well they control the ball, how quickly they play, and then you're under pressure. So I think we must be brave enough to hold it for a few more phases. Perhaps when we kick something more contestable. Oh, and then, and, then, and then give them less ball. Here we go again. We give them less ball, and then, of course, they're a great side. We've got to take away those opportunities. Thank you, Sean. Great side. You're right when they play like that. That was Adam Byrne. Found Jimmy Hazlip. A lot of room to move in there. Adam Byrne, the carry from Jack McGrath. This is all Leinster now. There's a chance here they could really take Montpellier apart if they continue playing like this in this first half. Luke McGraw once again, it's quick ball for Leinster. The accuracy of the passing is not quite there this time, but they were playing an advantage. And the advantage was for offside. But Johnny Sexton, and this is worrying not just for Leinster right now, but for the Six Nations going forward, that does not look particularly good. No, it doesn't. There's potentially a late hit has come in on Sexton there. They're going to have a look at the big screen to see if there was any foul play. I don't know yet. Phenomenal break from Adam Byrne, but Jamie Heaslip, a veteran in the team, Move he's the, the man on the shoulder. JP, we're just trying to find the angles, but well, Let's see what happened to Johnny. Well, it looked from that angle, it's, it's quite difficult to tell just about that angle. The tackle's legal. It looked it's just high, it looked around yes. the neck. That looks like one step. And we all know about the new Zero Tolerance Directive. Contact, JP. Oh, there's a high contact. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I think we know what's going to happen to that man. He's trying to, he's been frustrated, Stain is frustrated by the way Sexton has been dominating this game. So we see him shoot out the line once already, but that is in. a really dirty challenge. Do he's going over the right? top there, swinging okay, arm as well, made contact with the head, no, and no, that's a red. Okay yeah, reckless, all day. Reckless contact with the head is a red card. I'm not thinking red. Yeah. Okay, so it's that, a that's a, head, that's a red yes. before any change in the rules. So it's just a matter of looking at these high to start with. Given Sexton's Quite injury profile, hasn't and dipped an awful lot taken over the years. Tiny bit. There's not enough to yellow it. It's going to have to be red, isn't it? So, so what's the number? It's direct to the head yeah. with force. So what's the number? It's two. It's four. Number four. Is it four, Stu? Can I get the number? Uh, Can we see the... Well, sorry, have to double the check number. that yeah. number. Just have a look now. I should be looking at the number. Two very it's experienced ten. officials ten. there. JP, okay, so number 10, Frank Stein. It is a penalty. It is high, a lot of force, and first contact's with the head. Okay? Yeah, okay. it's a red card. So what we, have, no, what we have here is, we have foul play, okay? So the, the, it's a high tackle. Then we got to look at, it's at force, it's at speed, and it's straight to the head. Okay, it's a red card. He, he bend no, it. there's not enough there. I'm sorry, you're gone. No, that's it. That's it. He bend it. Francois, that's it. Um, one of the key words in there from Wayne Barnes was force, because that's one of the words they've added in through that directive. Yeah, and the players are well aware of it. They're well aware of how there's going to be a you clamp a down on swinging arms, offside. contact with the head, and recklessness. And we've seen them all in that tackle by Franz Stein.